हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स यू हैव सीन हाउ टू एनालाइज एनी सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट ओके और यू कैन से क्लॉग्ड सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट इन दैट केस लॉजिकल डायग्राम्स और सीक्वेंशियल सर्किट इज गिवन एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द स्टेट टेबल एंड स्टेट डायग्राम now you have to design the clogged sequence circuit now the reverse process in this suppose you have to given any state diagram and with the help of that state diagram how will you design that clogged sequence circuit okay suppose i am taking example of sequence detector okay suppose you have to detect three or more consecutive ones three or more consecutive ones means one 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 three time ones or more than three ones then output will be one otherwise low for this suppose four states are s0 s1 s2 and s3 okay s0 because initially when x equal to 0 no sequence is detected so output will be zero when its value is 1 it will go into next state s1 okay but again the output is low output is zero because we till now we did not detected three or more consecutive ones so what at zero what it will do it will return back to s0 okay when its value is 1 it will go to next state means s2 okay again output will be zero because till now we have not detected three or more three consecutive one if its value zero it will again start from starting s0 it will return back to s0 if its value is 1 it will go to next state okay s3 now we have detected three ones one Two and three. Okay, so that's why output is high. Till here, till S two, we have detected only two ones, so output is low. Okay, here we have detected only one, so output is low. Here, no one, so zero. Now again, there are two possibility. Okay, if its value is zero, if its value is zero, it will go to this state because now. we need three one or more than three ones one 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 or one 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 yeah four one or five one but if its value zero it will return back to as zero otherwise it will remain here okay is one it will remain only in this state if its value is zero it will go to as zero means after every state okay after every next state it will return back to initial state because after that sequence is not three or more than three one after that we are getting zero here one one we are getting zero here one 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 after zero so this is your sequence detector or you can say which detects three or more consecutive ones now you have to analyze okay you have to sorry you have to design clock sequence circuit now what you can do in previous two video lectures i explained how to draw the state diagram okay now what you can do for practice you have four state diagrams two by using d flip flop and two by using jk and t flip flop now you try to determine the desired sequential circuit okay the method which i will use here for practice you can do that thing okay now there are four states 0 0 s0 is 0 0 s1 is 0 1 s2 is 1 0 s3 is 1 1 okay now just write down next state you know a0 is 0 0 at x equal to 0 where it is going it is going into 0 0 so it will be 0 0 okay and output is zero because this output when 0 0 
when x is 1 it is going into s 1 means 0 1 ok. Similarly, you can find when 0 1 x equal to 0 it is going into 0 0 and output is 0 and at x equal to 1 it is going to 1 0. Next when 1 0 it is going into 0 0 when x equal to 0 when x equal to 1 it is going into 1 1 you can see from here when x equal to 0 and a b is 1 1 it is going into 0 0 and output is 1 ok and here 1 this is example of your what your more machine because value same ok here at x equal to 0 or 1 here at x equal to 0 or 1. Now, what you will do? You will synthesize by using D flip flop and you know the characteristic equation. What is the A T plus 1? This, this is next state is D A. Okay, D A. This D A is A plus. So, this is 3, 5, 7. Okay, sigma 3, 5, 7. Similarly, D T plus 2 is nothing. Sorry, D T plus 1 is nothing. This is D B and this D B is this a 1 5 and 7 similarly y you can see from here y is 6 7 sigma m 6 7 now we will solve by using what k map 1 3 5 7 you will get ax plus bx okay next db 1 5 7 2 pair again ax b dash x next y ok 6 and 1 pair so it is a b ok you can see i also told to you this example of more machine how because in this x is not there means y is not function of x ok now you have to draw the circuit this is your one flip flop this is another flip flop just d a a x plus b x d a this is what a x a x similarly b x ok and d b this d b a x a x is from here and b dash x this is b dash b dash x and or gate and y is a b ok. Earlier what we did we have this circuit ok and we just determined a state diagram and a state table. Now, here we have a state diagram and we determined this clogged sequential circuit or you can say we designed this clogged sequential circuit. For this you can practice all the four questions which I explained in my earlier video okay, and you will get the same thing. Now, for practice what you can do? This is your circuit, okay. this circuit is given, just analyze this and you will get the this table, sorry, you will get after analyzing this you will get this diagram. Okay, this is the reverse process, design process is nothing, it is the reverse process of analysis problem. Okay, now, you can do more practice. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.